This is the Jamaica Information Service, the, the voice, voice of Jamaica. Jamaica. You're inside Jamaica Magazine. Encouraging the information flow, sharing the news and views you need to know. We are building an informed Jamaica every day. Listening, Listening to, to what, what you say. say. So glad you could join us for this first magazine for November. I am your host, Alison Watson. It is also the start of Parent Month. And later in the newscast, an effort to make parents improve their children's literacy. Also in today's package, patients accessing health care at public facilities are being urged to present health cards. Consumer Affairs Commission to investigate bank charges and downtown Kingston and Seville slated for redevelopment. Later, we'll have our regular Jamaica House Weekly feature. The news in detail after this break. Now is the time. Listen to my rhyme. Now is the time. Kerry, you finished dusting? Soon finish, Mommy. Now is the time. Listen to my rhyme. Go and set the table. Dinner is almost ready. Mommy, tell Stephen to help to know. Mommy, I'm tired. All right, baby. Mommy, you're always asking me to do all the work. What's the problem? But it's your responsibility to do these things. You're a girl. Go and give your brother his dinner. What? Donna, if you don't stop this, you will train up Stephen to be lazy and irresponsible. If you want him to grow up to respect women and to carry his responsibilities, you should ensure that he starts to practice now by doing his work in the home too. Now the news. We begin today's package with news on health. The Ministry of Health is looking to source cheaper drugs and will report to Cabinet soon on where these drugs are available. We have a report that there are companies, and I won't say we are big drug companies abroad, that we are looking to buy drugs significantly cheaper than we are buying it now. And so we are looking at how the health fund, how HCL can work because all those roles have to be redefined. Mr. Spencer says that by the end of the year, he should be able to present the ministry's findings to cabinet. The minister was addressing the staff of the Mandeville Regional Hospital recently as part of an island-wide tour of hospitals. He announced that work will begin in December on the construction of a new block at the facility. The project will increase the number of bed spaces and provide improved conditions for patients and hospital staff. The bid went out already and they have selected a contractor. They have a contractor. The final step is for the matter to go before the National Contracts Committee, the NCC, and the Cabinet. Mandeville Regional Hospital is a Type B facility which serves 150,000 residents in Manchester, as well as patients transferred from nearby hospitals and the primary health care facilities. It has a bed capacity of 220, with a 100% occupancy level. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health is insisting that insured persons accessing treatment at public health facilities must present their insurance details. Health Minister Rudyard Spencer says there have been too many instances of persons not coming forward with the information. What it means, it means they are robbing someone else who could access health care free. We ask that you ask each person, are you a member of an insurance company? What the name of the insurance company and present the health card and demand that they give you the health card. He says the ministry will be asking companies for information on workers who have health insurance and this will be placed in a database for the hospitals to access. On other matters, he says the ministry will be allowing patients to purchase medical appliances for personal use while admitted in hospital. We are going to formalize it because if there is a form, we are going to look at it. 
and make sure the form is okay. Because if somebody comes to your hospital, have a patient stay in here for so long, and want to buy the thing, we must let him buy that. And now for some financial news. Public concerns about the fees being charged by banking institutions are among issues that will be addressed under a special project which will be launched in Jamaica soon. The three-year project is being sponsored by the Inter-American Development Bank, the IDB, and Consumer International, CI, at a cost of more than $50 million. It is geared towards heightening consumer awareness and protection in three select countries in the region. The other participating countries are Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados. We're going to be looking at helping the region to be more aware of their rights as consumers. And what we find in the Caribbean is that we are basically a little on the passive side when it comes to um, consumer issues and being an advocate, really, and being assertive as consumers. So we're trying to see how best we can have persons be much more active in securing their rights and ensuring that their rights are, are, are honored by, by vendors. Under the project, the Commission will be reviewing some of the bank contracts, looking into protocols regarding interest rates and other financial concerns shared by consumers. The initiative will include surveys, workshops, seminars, and interviews with various consumer protection agencies. Following the launch on November 24, the first workshop will be held in Jamaica on November 25, followed by others in the participating regions. Additionally, a hotline will be set up at the CAC to facilitate queries and concerns from consumers. Talks on the consolidation of statutory deductions are very much ongoing. One main challenge, however, is how the national insurance scheme, the NIS, will be treated. This was highlighted recently by Finance Minister Audley Shaw while speaking at the Jamaica Employers Federation JES Salary Survey launch. He says the government is presently consulting with various stakeholders, including the opposition. We are challenged by the issue uh, at, the, you know, at this time that we have to keep our national insurance scheme viable and the national insurance fund, which is for a lot of people, a lot of workers, as, as modest as, it, as the, 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 you know, the payout might be, it still forms an important part of the insurance and benefit scheme for the country. The finance minister was quick to point out that if something is not done, the fund will be compromised in another 10 years. We have to look at the question of the cap and whether the cap should be completely removed or it should be removed from the present, present threshold and perhaps put to a, to a higher threshold. In the meantime, Minister Shaw is adamant that Jamaica has to return to a formal economy which involves discipline and persons becoming tax compliant. Parent the right way. Read with your child every day. That's the theme for Parent Month being observed in November. In his keynote address at the official launch, Education Minister Andrew Holness said this is important, as research has shown that nurturing parent-child relationships and parent participation in the activities of their children impact positively on their child's achievement and development. Minister Holness says the national parenting policy being crafted seeks to ensure that these essential elements of parenting are accepted and implemented. Every parent in Jamaica, by birth, adoption or guardianship, recognizes and accept their duty to ensure that the rights of the child are always upheld, the best interest of the child is always promoted, and the child is always loved and provided with opportunities and resources within a safe, caring, and nurturing environment to achieve his or her full potential. Minister Holness says the Education Ministry is taking parenting seriously and is calling on the private sector to come on board in raising the awareness of positive parenting. The Education Ministry, meanwhile, will be providing parenting information and support services through a National Parenting Support Commission. A parenting workshop to be held November 12th at the Ministry's Canewood Centre in Kingston is among a host of activities planned for the month. Schools, libraries and civic organizations are asked to stage family literacy events during Parent Month. And we end today's news.